In this video, we're going to talk about the tools bar of the Finder Windows. Now, one of the things that I should mention about uh, not only the toolbars, but anything in regards to the Mac, and specifically to the Finder, is that you can perform the same things in multiple ways, uh, really depending on what you're trying to do, though. So let's start talking about the toolbar. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is going to be this group of buttons. And uh, to explain this group of buttons, I'm going to go to another folder. I'm going to go to my Documents folder, just by clicking on the Documents on the sidebar. So now that I'm in the Documents folder, I'm going to go to the group of buttons at the very top. And as you can see here, if I roll over and I leave my mouse there for a few seconds, we get to see a tooltip showing us some information of what these buttons do. And as you saw there, what these buttons do is it changes the way the contents of the window appear. So the first button shows us the icon view. And uh, in my experience from what I've seen is that people that are new to the Mac seem to be more comfortable in the icon view. The icon view just shows a large version of the files and uh, you can change the order of the files just by moving them around in the window here. So there's nothing set in stone. It's pretty flexible and very graphical too, as you can see. The next button will allow you to see the same contents in what it's called list view. And in list view, you get to see all of the files that are within that particular folder. You can see right now I'm in the documents folder, as, as it says up here. And uh, if you have folders contained within, you can click on the little disclosure triangle to see the contents of those other folders. And uh, more advanced users seem to like this other mechanism better uh, probably because it's somewhat similar to the old way of exploring in, in Windows. So clicking on the disclosure triangle again will allow you to navigate and see the contents of the subfolders. The next view is what Apple calls the column view. And uh, personally, this is the one that I like the best. Nevertheless, it shows the contents of the folder in a hierarchical fashion. And uh, very similar to the list view, you can click on a folder and see the contents of the folder. Now, the reason why I personally like this view rather than the other views is because you can see the files in context of where they are and what other files or folders are around that area. The fourth button changes the view to cover flow view. And uh, to show you what it looks like, let me just click on the Documents button so we can go to the very top of the Documents folder. And now I'm going to switch to Cover Flow mode. The first thing that you can notice in Cover Flow mode is the big previews at the top of the window. That's the whole feature of Cover Flow. Now, to navigate the Cover Flow, at the bottom you're going to notice that we get to see the list of files that are within the Documents folder. And as we navigate through the files, for example, if I click on them, uh, or I've used the arrow keys on the keyboard, I'm going down through the list and you can see the thumbnails or the previews appearing larger in cover flow mode. So that's the whole purpose of cover flow. It's a, it's a much more visual way of looking at files. 